You know, the truth is, we could have left whenever we wanted. We weren't prisoners of the cave. Then just leave then. Why are you... Why are you still here? Why not move on of all the... Because it's scary, that's why. Have you ever stared into nothing and moved with it and felt a part in it? It's worse than when we were wilting into atoms. Worse than dying the first time. I can imagine it, okay? You think contemplating annihilation makes you special? What you can imagine is a toddler's toy bag compared to facing real extinction. Don't speak to us of imagination. Whatever you think you can do, you can't. We're not going back. We won't go back. Child, wait your turn. to close the hole. I've come to to do what Maggie Adler tried to do 50 years ago, all right? <laughs> okay, well, it didn't work then. Why would it work now? God, you're so spoiled. You don't even know the cost of things. <laughs> Closing the hole with your stupid toy will spare your, your friends from our bloom, sure. But it will seal you up in here with us. You'll die with us. Oh, getting started already. Okay, you want to play chicken with the void? Fuck. We can see how long you stay on the throttle. Shut up. Whatever you say doesn't matter anymore. On the contrary, it actually matters quite a deal. One last chance. You die. You can leave, you know. Through the gate you opened. Alexandra, wake up! This course of action will only save those morons, not yourself. Don't you ever wait! Just work through it. Tell Michael to break up with Clarissa. It's for the best. But Michael's dead. How could I even... Whoa, wait, what? what's happening? Hello? Are you... Look, is someone there? 
Jonas, if you're still there, this would be a great time to say something. When the time comes, let Jonas talk to his mom. His mom's dead. I know his mom's dead. What is... How is this possible? What's going on? Well, that could have gone better. Right. Time loop. Tell Michael he should go out on his own. What does this... What does this matter? He's dead. He's not... He's not here. Oh, hey, I didn't even know you were home. You're always so quiet. It's like living with a little fairy tale mouse. Wait, did I get booted back in time? I know, I haven't used this desk in like a year, but Dad has all his gear on the kitchen table, so I've been like struggling with the stupid speech, the graduation thing. I don't want it to be just the usual blah blah we've come so far type stuff. It should have like a point, right? It should bring you to your feet about something. I... I don't know. I, I don't think it has to have a point. Well, that's where we differ, sister. I think things should have points. Things should be sharp. They should poke you. I'm guessing Mom probably told you about my scholarship to state, right? I don't really know how I feel about it. I mean, I feel it's not like it's a bad thing. It's a good thing, obviously. What is it? Don't want to go? Like, are you thinking of another school, or...? Nah, it'd be that school if it was going to be a school. It's just, you know, it seems like half the teachers are alumni, and... Actually, I'm about to be really arrogant and presumptuous and say mean things for no real reason other than I think I know better, so forget it. I bored you enough. I'm boring me right now. No, 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 keep going. It's fine. I hate people too. You can rag on the town. What, you think the teachers are wasting their lives? Well, they are wasting their lives. <laughs> All right, okay, thank you, but really, never mind. It had nothing to do with anything. Okay, so let's say you have two choices. One is safer. You know what? I'm not even going to shroud it in whatever. Look, I'm thinking of not going to school at all. Any school. I'm thinking of just forfeiting the money and not doing it. Um, okay, but do what instead? Just move somewhere. Out of state, get a job, learn on the job. Learn unfettered, I guess. Listen to the thousand and one things I love about you, Alex. The fact that you don't care what people think about you will always hover around the top five. That's why I ask my little sister for advice all the time. And why I could still look at myself and- Thanks. I like to consider myself a one-woman roadshow of baseless- But, anyways, all of that is why I need you to tell me. Really, what do you think I should do? Go to school here, or take a chance and leave? <sighs> Michael, I, I I can't really tell you this time. This has to be up to you. Alex, just get good friends, okay? And when you're with those friends, just say yes to everything. And keep away from boys when you talk to them, it feels like you're performing. But also, stay away from girls who look you in the eye for too long. And match every beer with a water. And take classes outside of school. Classes you don't need. Oh, come on, Michael, we already have a dad. You should know. We all live in the same house. This is just... This is a just-in-case package, okay? Just in case I'm not around. And I love you, and you're amazing, and that's it. So... Uh, thanks, I think. But soon, I shall be so I cannot remember any, but the things that never happened. Yeah, I... I don't know. 
Hey, she's waking up. Maybe don't get up immediately. Are we uh, in ghost heaven? <laughs> no, we're not in ghost heaven. We made it. We're alive. I mean, for the most part, my arm, like, fell asleep for a We're so. alive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. The, the important thing is, whatever you did in the cave, it worked. The tear, the hole, it's fixed. The ghosts are gone. We're going home. Or at least they've... They've stopped trying to eat our souls. That's... I'm... I'm glad. I'm sorry. I'm just... I was back. I fell back a few years during the whole thing, and... I just saw Michael again. That's all. So... I'm just a little rattled right now. What do you mean? What did you... What do you mean you saw Michael? What happened? What was happening? I just... talked to him. He... he was there in the... whatever was happening. We talked about his future, and what he wanted to do. <sighs> It was... something. I'm sorry, Alex. Yeah, it's... I'm sure it was rough. No, it was, um... It was good to see him. It was good. He looked good. He looked... Um... Himself. So Michael... Visited you. He crawled out from whatever netherworld swamp he's in... And plucked... I, I don't think it's like a visit. Like it's making a, a conscious choice to come mess with you. You were just... Exhaled somewhere. Time-wise. Yeah, I guess the universe doesn't choose to do anything. It just does. I can't believe everything that happened. I just... I feel like we should tell everyone we know. Like, go on a freaking book tour, but... Let's make a pact to, to just keep it, like, ours. It's only else has to be involved. No, Alex, we don't need a pact. We actually don't need to ever talk to each other ever again. I don't know. Like it or not, we've had a... have a shared thing now. Shared insane thing that I don't think will get reset once, like, graduation hits or something. Is this... Rin, didn't you lose a book? Holy crap! This is it! Thank you! I lost it on the way. I thought for sure some commuter would have just tossed it overboard Hey, or... that reminds me. What were we... We were talking about something stupid right before Alex woke up. Prom? Uh, uh, prom. 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 I am definitely skipping this one. I'm deferring the crown to that wheelchair girl. Are you going, Alex? Are we supposed to still spike the punch or just bring in flasks? I mean, do they even have punch? Uh, I guess. I mean, if I find a date, you know. I'm not gonna go stag. I have my dignity. Ben Owens will ask you. Or rather, he's going to ask you unless I physically prevent him. Eh, you can do better. All right, you know what? It's picture time. Oh my god, come on. Nona. Oh, come on, what? We earned this one. <sighs> yeah, I guess we should. Tonight's been, um, noteworthy. Noteworthy. That is a way to say it. Yeah, I'd probably say it another way. Let's, um, let's actually move outside so we can get the light. Sure. Ren, what is that book, anyway? I don't know. I can hardly make heads or tails out of what the hell he's talking about half the time. Here's good for the, yeah, just here. Like, like, this, here. When I was younger... I could remember anything, whether it happened or not. But soon, I shall be so I cannot remember any but the things that never happened. Yeah, I... I don't know. Okay, everyone. Wait, didn't you... Cheese! Before we'd left, I told my mom I was spending the night at a friend's house. And when I got back, I didn't see any reason to change that story. And you know what? I still don't. Ren always loved the town, but the island pretty much erased that in one fell swoop. He ended up going to college in California. He was my best friend, but I don't know if I'll ever see him again. Nona, I think, is going to some ballet academy somewhere, but I kind of fell out of touch with her, to be honest. Clarissa fled to the East Coast, dropped out of college, and works at a boutique. I hear she's scared of the ocean now. Part in front of it, and it was weird at first, but it's the truth. He's my brother. He goes to school in town, and we see each other a lot. It's funny. What happened on the island used to pop into my head every single day, and then every other day. And then a week went by and I realized I hadn't thought about it at all. I guess that's 
I don't know. It's good, I think. But anyways, I, um... Well, if it matters. I decided to stay in town and go to college here. It's practically up the road, and I just wanted something familiar, I guess. But anyways, what time is it? <gasps> yeah, sorry, I gotta run or I'll miss the ferry. Run's dragging me out to Edwards Island for that yearly beach party thing, and I have to pick up what's-his-name Jonas, too. <sighs> I hope he's not weird or mean or something. Whatever, I'm sure it'll be fun. It's something to do, right? <laughs>